Hi, this is Peter Walters, and I have a script here that I'm going to show you uh, how to use a little bit. It's called the Joint Orient Tool, and I developed this uh, after being frustrated um, with the uh, just the built-in tools that, that you're supposed to use for orienting uh, joints. They're pretty frustrating. I have a script, and how you install it, I'll tell you right off the bat that this is... Um, it's X down the joint, so um, and that's the, it won't do any of the other uh, orientations. So Y or Z down the joint. If you're looking for that, uh, the script won't work for you. I did try to um, do that through through this the script that I have, and it's uh, I ran into some difficulties. So, um, but this works extremely well if you're looking for X down the joint. To use it, um, you just run the script. I have a Install script. It'll throw the some icons up on the shelf for you. Um, and the first one we have is uh, that just starts out with the joint orient tool, uh, and you just you just select your joints and hit it. And uh, before I do that, let me uh, just demonstrate. You know the uh, typical. I'm going to assume that you're familiar with uh, a lot of the rigging tools that are out there already. You know the joint orient. Orient joint options that that uh, are built into Maya. Um, they're decent, um, and they'll give you about what you're looking for. But if you want, you know, if you have some complex joints like this, uh, you know, if you look at the the Z and the Y, they're not really oriented towards you know what you would think they should uh, orient to because when you're animating, your a lot of your FK will follow your joint orientation, so you want to make sure that that your joint orientation is um, is how your character should move, especially with knee, things like knees and elbows. You run into a lot of problems. So um, the other way to do it is, you know, to grab the um, control for the uh, the handle, uh, and you can you can rotate the um, so you can grab. You just kind of grab it this way and orient it. But if the problem with this is if if you look up in in the attribute editor, if you if you want this to be clean, you you I always have joint orient rotation values only, um, never rotation rotate axis, just to keep things uh, clean when at attaching other things to a joint. Um, I mean, you can do this, and you know this would can give you pretty decent results. The problem is that you can't you can't really, it's really hard to mirror this perfectly. Um, I don't know if you come up with a script to mathematically mirror it, um, but still, um, you still don't have the um, your numbers uh, all to zero. Anyway, um, I'll show you how the script works. If you just select the joints that you want to Let's just do these two for now. So you run the script, and you'll see uh, there there are two for every joint that you do. There's two um, there's two controls. Uh, there's an X and a Z. So the X you probably won't ever change. I mean, this is this controls where the X um, X is pointing, and then you have the Z, and this is the one you want to use. And, and typically, it's just uh, you'll either rotate it the Z and the Z axis, that makes sense, <laughs> or you'll you'll uh, translate it in the Y axis. And you can see if you lift it right above the joint, it'll flip, um, and that's good depending on if you want, you know, how you want your um, your orients to, to be if you want Y to be forward um, or if you want them to be uh, reversed. If you want to be reversed, you can you just just kind of flip them and then you can adjust exactly how you want it. The nice thing about this is you can mirror the the Z control. So let's say I bring this forward. And let's actually line this up like we're gonna really animate this. So that's how I want it, and I want. I want the other one to be in a perfect mirror, so I'll just mirror it. And you can do it. I have a little script here, um, but you can punch the numbers in too. Um, if you mirror it, so you can see that these are perfect. They're exact. 
But the translate, translate Z is just negative. That's the only difference. Um, just to mirror that, this perfectly. But it gives you um, a great result. And then when you're done with this, you can just hit the, um, the Joint Ori Clean button. And that'll eliminate all the, uh, just get rid of all the, the extra nodes. And um, you just be left with uh, your, your uh, oriented joints. And what the clean does as well is that when it puts the joints back, it brings the uh, rotate axis back to zero. So you can see when I was putting a, had the control on that these had numbers in them. Um, and once I hit the clean, then so we, there are only there's only joint orient information. If you have an end joint, um, you can still do it. So you can set axis. It just puts the um, doesn't really know where to put the X. You know, it's just, um, but you can, you know. And then I added um, a toggle select. So if you have uh, a lot of toggle, you don't have to have, keep these if you don't want them, of course. You can get rid of them. I just threw them in for extra just in case you need them. Toggle selected and then toggle all. It's kind of nice to have. So that's it. That's the script. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know or comments or anything that doesn't work. Um, the one thing I can't do is add uh, extra joint orientations. If I get a little extra time down the road, maybe, uh, and I have a reason to do it, maybe I'll try to add that back in. But I, that is fairly complex, uh, actually. So uh, thanks for watching.